<laughs> All right, guys. Now for today's strength portion. We're doing lots of lots of leg work today, right? So first of all, we're going to do a 10-minute EMOM of six dumbbell or kettlebell squat cleans. So I've got a couple dumbbells here, and I can show you this. So EMOM means every minute on the minute. So for 10 minutes, we're going to do 10 rounds of these six squat cleans, right? So you do the six, rest for the rest of the minute. All right, so if you got your dumbbells, right, for these squat cleans, we are gonna come down and touch the ground every time just to make it a little extra spicy since we're trying to do this at home. We don't have barbell and we still wanna get a good exercise. All right, so we're gonna come down. Front heads of the dumbbell should touch the floor, right? And then we'll come up into a squat. Back down. Squat. Back down. Squat. Make sure you stay nice and tight whenever you catch that. Down in the squat, right? Squeeze your abs. I like to come down, take a breath, hold it, stay nice and tight. Come, when I come back up, then I release the breath and take another one before going again. So you're on six reps, right? After that, we'll have a couple minutes of rest. And we're gonna do a body weight squat wave, right? This will really finish off the legs well today. I tried to think of a challenging way a squat wave at home with with no weight so we're gonna set it up imam style again this is just imam day it's gonna be a 12 minute imam we're gonna have three different exercises we're gonna work through and so you're gonna work through those four times right so for that first one we're gonna do 20 air squats with the air squat you want your feet in the squat position right so just outside of your your hips right really kind of like about shoulders distance Right? We want to come down and make sure our hip crease at least gets parallel to our knees or just below, right? At the bottom. And then at the top, I should get full flexion, right? So everything should be in alignment, right? My shoulder, my hips, knees, everything. So bottom, top. Sometimes when you see air squats, you know, I see a lot of people come up to like here, right? That's not a completed air squat. We want to do good reps. Right, fast is good, but fast and wrong is still wrong. So your time doesn't matter, right? 20 air squats like that. Then we're gonna do eight per side of a rear foot elevated split squat. And so this is an easy one to do at home. I like to use my couch, right? And so I'm just gonna put like my laces on my couch, right? And then I'm gonna position that other foot so that when I come down, my knee can touch and at the bottom, my, my knee and the front leg should be right above my heel. That should be nice and straight up and down. I shouldn't be leaning out forward, right? And so we're just gonna go eight here, right? And then we'll switch legs and go eight over here, right? And so this, these should take like 30 to 45 seconds, not leaving you a lot of time to rest, and then you're gonna get a good burn, right? Lastly, so that was the first minute, the second minute, the third minute, you're gonna do 10 alternating pistol squats. So if you're doing the full pistol squat, each time you come up, you're gonna switch feet, right? And so as we go down, that front foot that's coming out cannot touch the ground until I get my hips all the way straight, my body back into alignment, right? So you can hold your foot, you can just stick it out, come up, alternate, up, alternate, right? If you can't do a full pistol squat, we've got a couple variations, right? So the easiest one would be doing like an air squat, but have your feet together, so your nice narrow stance, right? And come down and up. Next one, you can do a toe spot. And so with this toe spot, I want that back foot to be pretty close, because I want about like 90% of my weight in this foot, and we're just spotting with that rear foot, right? And again, make sure you brace, take a breath, squeeze the abs, and that'll help you get back up and then switch feet right that's what that'll look like the toe spot that's still pretty easy right but you can't quite do a pistol we can take that rear foot instead of doing a toe spot we can just wrap it around the heel right right around the ankle we call this an ankle spot and this is a lot better than even holding on to something because it's all your stabilizer is going to have to work and it feels a lot like the pistol right the difference is that that front leg is just not sticking out you can really simulate it and learn to get your balance and hold your core while you do it, right? Lastly, just do a pistol, 
right? So I'll go first minute, the air squats, second minute, eight per side roof and elevated split squat. And then the third one, alternating pistols. Then we'll come back and do the air squats again on the fourth minute, right? And this will repeat itself four times. So those legs should feel really good after this. We don't necessarily always have to have weight to get a good workout. So have fun. Make sure you, if you're in sugar wad, right, you, you put your scores in there. Or if you're just visiting this from somewhere, <laughs> somewhere else, hit the subscribe button and do some of these workouts with us. Thanks a lot.